Today, let's talk Synology Photos sharing. So Synology Photos offers several different ways to share photos or albums or folders of photos out to people. If you don't have an account on the Synology box, you can use the photo sharing link. Or if you want to share your photos with Synology account holders, then you can use the shared space feature. And we're going to talk about both of those in today's video. Let's get started by showing how to share a single photo out to a non-Synology user. It could be a coworker, it could be a friend, it could be a family member that maybe lives in another state or another town or even another country. So let's click on this photo here. It's just a photo of the propane tank being delivered to my new home. All I have to do is come on up to the share icon here and click on that. You can see we get another window here. Make sure the enable share link here is checked. Here's the link that you would share to someone that you want to see the photo just by clicking on the copy link. You could set the privacy settings here under the drop down. You have a couple of options, private, only invitees can have access, public, anyone with the link can view, public, anyone with the link can download. We're just gonna leave it set to public, anyone with the link can view. Now, I could add a password for a little extra protection. I could also put an expiration date on the link itself. But for now, just for this demonstration, we're gonna just leave it set to public, anywhere with the link can view. And go ahead and click OK. And that's it, really, as far as sending out a single photo. Now, we could do the same thing with albums as well. So let's come over and click on the Albums tab. And then let's just say we want to share this album here. I don't know how many photos. Maybe it has 30 photos in it. Just hover over the album itself. Come to the vertical dots and click on those and select share from the menu. Here you'll see we get the same similar dialog box. Again, make sure the enable share link is selected. And then you select the link again. You can copy it. And then you have similar options here. Private, only invitees can access, anyone with the link can view, anyone with the link can download. Again, we could require a password or we could set an expiration on the link. But we're just going to go ahead, once we copy the URL, we're going to say OK. And then if we email that URL out to whoever it is we want to see the album, they'll be able to view the album without any issues. In the next step, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to use the shared space feature for sharing photos, albums, or folders for users that have accounts on the NAS. So let's talk about Synology Photos shared spaces for a second. In my opinion, I think Synology intended this space to be utilized for sharing photos or folders with either coworkers or family members that have accounts on the Synology NAS. Now that said, let's take a closer look. I'm in the Photos tab, I'm on the Personal Space, I'm going to click on the drop down and select shared space. And currently you see I don't have any photos in here. Now I could easily drag and drop photos in here, or I can click the add photos button and search my computer to upload photos or folders. But instead, what I want to show you today is how to take photos that already exist in the personal space and share them to the shared space so that you can control what users on the NAS see what photos or folders. And that said, the first thing we need to do is come up to the user icon, click on that and select settings. In this area here, we're going to click on shared space and you need to make sure that the shared space is enabled and it is here for me. If not, all you have to do where it says disable shared space, it'll say enable shared space. Just click on that. Then we can go down and look at these other areas here. We have the option of allowing guests to view photos and videos in the root folder that would mean everybody would see whatever you have in the shared space. And we're not going to do that, nor are we going to enable the people album in the shared spaces. But what we are going to do is set the access permissions. And here we could select users or groups and grant them access. So let's do that. Let's click on the drop down and let's select the user, the local user, Lisa. And before we click the plus sign to add her, I want to talk about the two available permissions. We have entry and management. Now with entry, the user will be allowed into the shared space, but they won't be able to see anything. 
with management, they'll be able to not only enter the shared space, but they'll be able to see everything, edit everything, download, delete. It's like giving them admin privileges. So that's something you probably don't want to do. So if you give them shared entry space permissions, then how do you contribute to what they see? And I'll show you that in the next step because we can further define what the users can see. But this is the first step here. You have to get them added in here. So we're going to say user Lisa, entry permissions, and click save. Actually, I did that wrong. Let's go back. We're going to say user Lisa, entry permissions. Make sure you hit that plus sign so that the user appears here and then click on save. Once we've done that, let's go ahead and click on OK. And now we've set the first stage of permissions. Next, let's go into Change to Folder View. And now I'm going to take a folder that's in my shared space in the 2021 year, in the month of August, July and August, as you can see here. And we're going to copy this folder over to that shared space. Now that said, we need to make sure we enable the folder by putting a check mark here. And you'll see we have other options that appear in the lower right hand corner. We can download the folder, we can delete the folder, or we can click on the vertical dots and access more options. The options are rename the folder, move the folder, or copy the folder. So we're not going to rename it, we're not going to move it, but I am going to copy it over to the shared space. So it says copy to. And from the drop down, I'm going to say shared space and simply say copy. In the upper right hand corner, we have a confirmation that the items were copied successfully. And now if I come over to the personal space here and click on shared space, you can see the one folder from 08 from August. And there are the four photos inside. So now we successfully have the photos copied from the personal space over to the shared space. However, that does not mean the user Lisa can see them. In fact, let me sign out and show you. Okay, so we'll sign in again, but this time we'll sign in as the user Lisa. And if you take a look up here, Lisa is in the shared space, but there are no items yet to view. So that first set of access permissions that we gave her under entry permissions just allowed her to sign into this space here. What we need to do now is set the folder permissions so that once the user is signed into the space, they can actually see what you allow them to see. So let's sign out. We're going to sign back in with me. Okay, so now that we're back signed in as Tony and we're still in the shared space, let's click on the folder now in the shared space. And again, we have the additional options that pop up in the lower right hand corner of the screen. And we're going to click on the three vertical dots. But this time we have another option. We can rename it, we can move it, we can copy it. But we also have the option of set share permissions. So when we come in here, we want to make sure that we enable the share link. Now we're not actually going to send the share link out to the user Lisa, but what we want to do is under privacy settings, we want to change that to say private only invitees can access. Again, if we wanted to require a password on the link, we can, but here's the key. You got to come down to the bottom where it says invitee list, select the user. Then from this drop down, you can assign the different permissions of what the user can and cannot do in that shared space. So we're going to give this user the ability to only view the photos. But if we wanted, we can give the user the ability to download the photos from the shared space, upload photos to the shared space or manage in that shared space. But for right now, we're just going to select view. We're going to Click the plus sign. This is the important step. And this is the same step that I missed earlier. So I'm going to make sure not to miss it this time. We're going to click on add. And now the user Lisa has been added with these permissions. 
One of the biggest mistakes I've seen people do is go as far as selecting the user, setting the permissions, but then forgetting to hit the plus sign to add them so that they appear here, like I did in that previous step. But once this is all set, go ahead and click OK. And now that we've set the permissions here, up in the main area, under Settings, under Shared Spaces, under Set Access Permissions, we have Lisa showing here. Now that we've done that, and we've set the actual folder permissions, if I sign out as me, and I sign back in as Lisa now, now Lisa should be able to see that shared folder of photos. So let's try that. Let's sign in. And there you go. So now you can see under Lisa's account, under shared space, all photos, you can see the 08 folder and you can see the four photo, the four photos that are in that folder here inside that shared space. So what I really like about this is you can control what each user sees and doesn't see and what each user can do and doesn't do with the shared information in the shared spaces. Okay, so I've shown you how to take an individual photo or an album of photos and share them out to users that don't have Synology accounts. I showed you how to use the shared space and get the permissions set up properly with that. One last thing I want to show you or talk to you about is the shared tab on the main page. So let's come up to sharing and let's click on that. And we have two sub tabs. We have one that says shared with me and the other says shared with others. So if anybody shared a photo or albums with me using the sharing link, they would appear here. If I click on the shared with others, you can see here is the album and here is the single photo that I shared earlier in this video. So that said, I just wanted to bring that to your attention because when you first sign into Synology Photos, it could be a little daunting with using a sharing link or shared understanding what shared space this is and getting those permissions set up. I've seen a lot of people out on some of the forums talking about having issues with setting up the permissions in the shared space. You know, you also have the sharing tab as well. So I just wanted to touch on this last point on what the sharing tab is all about. So in summary, I really think Synology Photos makes sharing pretty easy, especially for non-account holders. If you do share with users of the NAS, it is a little bit of a multi-step process. Once you get the hang of it though, it does work really well. If you found any value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos listed here up above. Remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. And as always, I'd like to thank our Patreon supporters. And if you would like to help support the channel, there's links to the Patreon page and PayPal down in the video description.